Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of Hollywood for YouTube, back with another Dark Shadows video for you guys and gals. I'm here to give my reaction review to episode 60. Uh, if, now, if you're watching this on Tubi and not pulling your hair out, <laughs> it's a season 2, episode 25. I say that because Tubi does have these like weirded out. The way they're done. Because uh, um, season, well, season two episodes ends with episode 70. That's, that's where, that's where, I'm at episode 60 now. This ends in episode 70. Um, season two does. So, uh, this episode here, which is, to me, this episode is titled One Thing. Victoria Winters comes to dinner. <laughs> this that's what this episode should be titled. Because that's what she does. She comes to dinner at the Evans Cottage. Uh this episode is written by Art Wallace and uh directed by John Sedwick. Uh it is nighttime, by the way, in this episode. Um so with it being nighttime, obviously with night scenes, you'll get a couple sequences in episodes, and then the day will be over, and they'll go to a new day. But, again, remember, with Dark Shadows, it takes a couple epi It takes, like, depending on when they start the day, four to five episodes, I think, to, to go through the day. I believe. I want to say it's four or five episodes. So, probably more toward five. Dep again, depending on when they start the day. It's not all, I don't think it's always that long either. Um, so far it's been. Here we see the great house. Uh, the shot is pulled back. Um, I love how you can tell that too. Like this... I I would love to know when they they had to shoot these exterior like the shot the exterior shots early you think um I could be wrong <laughs> so or the you know what I mean the shots for the CB terrorists um now. Again, we see the how that's pulled back, so let's let's get going. Vicky's gonna talk. She call it at night. We pull in, and we're at the Evans Cottage. This is where Vicky's ha gonna have her dinner, so why not, right? I love how dark. The cottage looks when there's no lights on. There's something they do in this episode that I really enjoy most. I'll explain what it is. Here's, here's Maggie coming in with the back groceries. Victoria Winters is coming. And the lights are on. I love how the paint, uh, the paint board and the brush are on the seat. Vicky's going to sit down there. Um, they're both standing. We have a pulled back shot of both women. Then Catherine Lee Scott's Maggie Evans goes out of the frame. Uh, Alexander Mulkey, Victoria Winters, hands her coat up. Um, she fixes her hair. Y you're not on a date. <laughs> Who are you? You're not on a date. But I get why she does it though. So, wants to look nice for a friend. I do love how they shoot this here. They get both. It's a side view of Vicky and Maggie with the window and the paintings. You see that beautiful window in the Evans Cottage. Though it's a nice little set design. And you get the paintings. And then I love how Catherine Lee Scott comes back for the bag of groceries. <coughs> this is also the episode where uh, Victoria Winters finds that portrait. Of a woman who looks just like her. And she's so stunned by this. Great job by Alexandra selling this. What I mean, I love how she's looking in the mirror 
looking at the portrait. Looks, looks to the mirror, looks back to the portrait. She says it's important, really important. She wants to show Maggie this, and that's the that's the opening of this episode. Beautiful job by Alexander. Beautiful job by her. Um, that little, all that little sequence there. Great job by both women, and really great job by Alexander. She did a great job there. Yeah, another. Art Wallace was a really underrated writer. I don't, I don't give a shit what anyone says. Ron Sprout was too. You hear Maggie say that's an oldie. She's been here as long as she can remember. She says, "Look at it very carefully." Vicky's telling her. I love how they're shooting this too. It's a close up of the women, but it's more like they're both standing on opposite sides, holding it looking at the portrait and they're a bit zoomed in on the three of them the portrait and the two women now now we get a shot of uh catherine now we get a shot of alexander back great job it's really great when you're going back and you're watching this and you're not just watching the camera work, but you're watching the dialogue with it and you see how they did the cuts back and forth and how John Sedwick shot this. Because you can tell the direct I've talked about you can tell the directors are leaving fingerprints in these episodes. They really are. I can't wait till we get the first new different director and to see what is done a tad differently with the camera. I do think there might be some difference here we get a close-up of vicky talking as she is sitting down so is cat uh so is uh maggie evans maggie's sitting on the couch vicky's sitting on the chair i love this how we get the back of Vic victoria's head and we see maggie's face the front of maggie's face then we get a close-up of vicky talking we see her face her lips moving talking and how she's been she's been she says how she's been looking for her parents her whole life she wants to know who he is uh she says you know who you vicky tells you you know who you are you know who your father is you know who he is your whole you know who you are your whole life and we say the police station there's dana elker here again here i love dana elker's like smirk and smile here right. And there's Burke Devlin. This isn't going to be the only place Burke Devlin shows up tonight. There's going to be some places, let me tell you. And we've seen Roger Collins and Sam Evans yet. Yep. So, Dana Elker, Dana Elker is drinking, I want to say coffee, because he's getting water to put in his coffee. It probably is too hot if he's legit drinking coffee. People will do that. They'll put a little water in their coffee. Cause it's just too cold. It's just too hot. Not that much water. <laughs> I love this shot here of the over the shoulder shot. How Dana Elker, when he's holding his coffee, he's got his back to Burke. We, he's looking over. Uh, Dana Elker's shoulder, and we get both men in the frame. It's very underrated camera work by John Sedwick and Dan Curtis Productions or how they shoot this. Go watch this episode. This is not the most impressive camera work in my opinion. I will give you mine when I see it, because I know it's in this episode, and it's really, really underrated. So... Vicky helps uh, peel potatoes. We're back at the Evans Cottage. Yeah, they were talking about... Uh, sorry. Um, the sheriff and Burke were talking about Bill Malloy. You know, Burke was saying, Oh, did you talk to Roger and Sam? You really think his his death is an accident or just a drowning, even after you talk to them? So he's hounding the sheriff about what he feels. He feels someone murdered Bill Malloy. He's not wrong. <laughs> um. 
I love how I love how Vicky is playing with Maggie. How she said there's this huge cauldron up at Collinwood, or they push people in. Um, so Maggie said she ne she never set foot near that place. She means Collinwood. She meant it. Yeah, she's gonna break that. She's going to break that. Not in this episode, but she is going to, there's going to be an episode here soon where she goes up to Collinwood. Maggie does. So Vicky says she thinks she saw a ghost or in a thunderstorm. She talks about it here. This is, I've always maintained that Dark Shadows is, always knew it wanted to be a ghost uh, soap opera. It always wanted to have ghosts. You're not mentioning ghosts without showing them. Aren't you scared? Oh, Maggie says, weren't you scared? And Vicky's like, terrified. Of course she's terrified. She thought she saw a ghost, goddammit. Maggie says, the things have been digging. Definitely been going on long before you got there. That's true. That's so true. Um, so Maggie says she's not talking about some 200 year old ghost story. The trouble started about 10 years ago. She, she's talking about the car accident and Burke's uh, Devlin's trial, obviously. What happened 10 years ago. 10 years ago is not that long. Especially in a small town, right? And it's, and and in walks David Ford, Sam Evans. I love how David Ford walks in here. Takes off his hat. I'm still on away from the hill, Miss Winters. I love this scene here where David Ford looks back at Victoria Winters like, why is she here? And you can tell he's sort of asking that without saying it. Mag, not exactly a bundle of cheer, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not a bundle of cheer. Um, so there, so we, we have the tide charts. The sheriff has the tide charts. Burke is sitting on the edge of the, the sheriff's desk. He's advising Burke to slow down. So, so the sheriff says here that because Burke makes the comment. He's looking at the drawings of the tie charts. He said, it looks like a a boy, a young boy drew this. And he said, yeah, the young boy did. And they say, they say that he says the age is the sheriff says the age. And he says, David Collins tried to figure out where Bill Malloy fell to lure. Wasn't too far off, too. And they're looking at the tie charts, and they got it figured about where his body went in. Uh, really great job here. You have a bit of camera work here where you have Burke standing up, he's looking down, and Dana Elker is looking at the tie charts, talking. That can't be easy to do, to look at tie charts, and, you know, you just saw him grab paper, I'm, you know, and somebody remember their lines and have to explain, you know, hey, this is, this is, this, this is, this. Really, this is a great set of scenes here. Yeah. Where are they? <laughs> he turns to Todd Charles And he's like, come on, Sheriff, what difference does it make? And he does flip them over. Could have been there at Malloy's house, sitting in his cove, miles north of the canter. 
Uh, lookout point. That's halfway. So, so. so that he, Burke brings up the point that Bill was known for walking to the cannery, and he was. Going with me. Yep. Yep. You know, somebody lying says, uh, Dana Elker, Sheriff George Patterson. He's gold. He's gold as that sheriff. He's the man. He really is. I mean, this whole sequence with Burke and the sheriff is just really, really good. It is something you have to see to believe. The acting in Dark Shadows is just top notch. It's why this, sh you know, I've talked about how this show is so timeless. And, you know, it is. It really is. Um, so, <laughs> it's just amazing. Yeah, I'm going to be getting into my favorite uh, scene here, because I think they showed a bit of it already, but there, there's more to come. Boy, invited me to the meeting. If I wasn't guilty, Roger Collins had to be. He's talking about the manslaughter charge. Huh. Uh, he wants to know how Sam Evans figured his end to this. They didn't agree with it, but they would have said you were lying. I'm sorry. And according to me, they lied. Both of them. Well, somebody lied. Again, great interaction between the two actors. Two pros. Malloy dies and nothing. Burke, I don't have proof. I love how they shoot this. You see a side view of both men and they're both standing. And then they switch it up. You see Burke's back and you see Sheriff Patterson's face. Great camera work by John Sedwick here. And then we get a close-up of Burke. Criminal. Just criminally good. Oh, man. He said, I'm about to have to get away. I like what Patterson says. You listen to me? You... Yeah, because really, he warns Burke that if he goes and does something he'll throw him in jail because he would be obstructing an investigation. We're back at the Evans cottage. So Vicky has told Sam Evans his her story. I love how they're we're we're getting this right. We're getting the back of Sam Evans. We get Vicky sitting on the couch and we get a and we get Maggie Evans walking around the couch, kissing her father on the head after she set something down and she walks back toward the kitchen. I'm good. We get a close-up of Sam Evans, too. Man, David Ford looks rugged in this episode. What you can, what I think the effects department is trying to do here is to show you how worn down Sam is by all of the events that have been, not just been going on, but the past 10 years. And Vicky shows him the portrait. They do a good job of showing that, too, by the way. And she's I love how he's smoking the little pipe. You got uh. he says, he, and Sam says she looks a bit like you, her, her, and you look a bit like her. So, yeah. So I want to know who she is. Betty Hanscom. 25 years. That she was a local girl. Betty Hanscom. 
She was in love with George. That's who Sam says it's in the portrait. I believe him. He says, I knew about a great deal about her nose days. <laughs> He's smiling. Before I married your mother. Sam must have been a womanizer when he was younger. I love how David Ford smiles when he says that too. <laughs> it's so playful. So, Betty Hansen had no other white relatives. You were wrong. Maggie thought her father said was handsome. They tell they tell Sam they were talking about Berkey never really knew about the accent. They want Sam to tell it. S Sam knows the details because he was at the same bar they were. And it wasn't at the Blue Whale. <laughs> yeah. What did happen, Mr. Evans, when we get the dramatic music playing? I'm going to talk about, because what this is, Sam just rehashes what happened, the story that he's going to fit the narrative that that clearly Burke was driving. We know Burke wasn't. Um, there's going to be a scene. You... You see how small the kitchen table is in this episode, the, the Evans cottage and the kitchen table. I think really what John Sedwick does in this episode from a film standpoint is just pure genius. Because really what he's telling you with his camera work in this episode, we've seen how small the Evans cottage is. We see the small cozy cottage, the small kitchen, now we see the small dining table where four people are going to sit at and Burke Devlin wants to join in. And here's the Collins family who live in this big castle yeah, <laughs> mansion and have this big luxury kitchen. You you know, Patrick, my buddy Patrick for Christ talked about class. Do you really want to go back and look at class? Look at this episode and look at the look at the Collins family. It is really they do this with the camera as much as the people. They're doing it with the set designs. That's what Cy Thomasoff doesn't deserve enough credit for. He's telling you the class differential with the set designs. He really is. Go watch it. Go watch episode. Uh, 60. Really criminally good. Just too, too goddamn good. Oh, by the way, episode 61, we're going to get more footage. We're going to get more stuff from the Evans Cottage a bit. Um. Again, you're going to see this shot here of this, this small kitchen table. It's really good. It, how they shoot this, not just the cottage, but the kitchen table. Yeah. Reliving the, the uh, manslaughter trial. Phones ringing. And it's the sheriff uh, telling Sam that Burke Devlin's on the warpath. Down that uh, Burke Devlin uh, asks if Burke Devlin has been to Sam's house, and he's telling him he might he might be a he's pretty hot headed young man. Uh, 
Don't be afraid to call me, Sam. He doesn't, now he does not tell Maggie it was the sheriff. It was just a friend. It was nothing important. Why would you not say that was, like, seriously, what harm is that going to do? Here, right here, this is what I mean. Look. Here. Here comes Burke. He knocked at the door. It opens. Am I disturbing? The size of this kitchen table. You have room for one more. <laughs> There's some dramatic music. We get a little more of the kitchen table. <laughs> That's the end of the episode. We get we get more of the uh, kitchen table in the next episode. But it is really criminally underrated the way Cy Thomas off did these set designs and the way John Sedwick shoots this episode. Uh, you guys have a good night. I'll see you on the next. Well, I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>